Good morning, Copper Basin. Today is Monday, March 2nd, 2015. I'm Reed O'Neill with CBTV News and 9. On today's show, we'll be talking about some painting and the Salvation Army. Now, let's head over to our news segments. Hey guys, I'm Megan. I'm Caroline. And I'm Brooklyn. And on today's show, we'll be talking about a community kitchen. But first, let's head over to Weather with Brooklyn. Today is going to be mostly cloudy, rain likely in the morning, then a chance of rain in the afternoon, highs in the 40s to lower 50s, north winds 10 miles per hour or less. A chance of rain 70%. Tonight's going to be mostly cloudy with a slight chance of rain early, then rain likely late. Near steady temperature in the 40s. Light winds, chance of 70%, rain 70%. Tuesday is going to be rainy in the morning and early afternoon. Then rains likely late in the afternoon. Highs in the mid 40s to mid 50s. Southwest, southeast winds 5 to 15 miles per hour and a chance of rain is 80%. Now let's go to a PSA. I know I could get arrested and lose my license if I drive impaired, and I know I could get grounded forever. I know I need to be home by curfew, but I still need to drive safely and obey stop signs and red lights. I know I may get grounded, but it's better than not getting home at all. Wow, well, so I do know a lot. I know that teens are more likely to be in crashes than adults. Did you know more than 300,000 teens are injured in crashes each year? Always pay attention and drive careful, guys. So how was y'all's this break? Pretty great. That's really good. Really yeah. boring. I like awesome. the snow. I kind of would have rather been at school. I wouldn't. I worked. Uh, I, I felt like I was in summer with cold weather. I was stuck at home, didn't do anything, so. I did. Summer with cold weather. <laughs> <laughs> but let's just go ahead and head over to sports with Megan. Miami Heat won the World Series last night, <laughs> apparently. Baseball and softball conditioning continues, and the football banquet has been moved to, I don't know when. I think it's today. It might be today. That's all for sports. Let's head over to lunch with Caroline. Today's lunch in line one is chili wrap, veggies, fruit, and milk. In line two is chicken fajita wrap, veggies, fruit, and milk. Tomorrow's breakfast, line one is pancakes with fruit, juice, and milk. And in line two is apple delight with fruit, juice, and milk. Now that's all for lunch. Local organizations in Chattanooga stepped in this week to help shelter people from the harsh elements. For several nights, the Community Kitchen's overnight shelter was at capacity and called on other agencies to help. Chattanooga Community Kitchen Executive Director Lynn Christenen said this week's extreme winter weather had many in, in the homeless community seeking shelter. Many nights, the overnight shelter was at capacity with more than 160 people. The shelter called on other agencies like the Salvation Army to help. Friday and Saturday night, the Salvation Army opened an overnight shelter on top of mon monetary donations. The Salvation Army says it welcomes donations of coffee, toiletries, and new heaters for its low-income low assistance program. The community kitchen also welcomes 24-hour bus passes to help people to get to job interviews as well as cold weather, as well as other cold weather supplies. Yearbooks are on sale for $55. Name is Penny Montgomery to reserve your copy. ACT has now been moved to March 17th. I wonder what Joke Dog has in store for us today, guys. Joke Dog! I well, didn't miss you. I have not seen you people in a long time. I didn't yeah. miss you. I didn't My miss hair's you either. Oh, good. Good. I'm glad. What you got for now, us? These people out here, we always miss them. Okay, so does anyone know why referees wear white and black stripes? Anyone? No. no. Why? 
Well, since football teams love hiring convicts, the rest just want to fit in. <laughs> oh my gosh. <laughs> That's good. Yeah, that was pretty good. I get it. Hot. Because some of them go to jail and stuff. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> well, they all get in trouble. None of them really go to jail. Well, it's because they pay them off. <laughs> Probably. Such a sponsor ad. Alright, go through the door. Go, 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 go. All right, select. You look like you're really into this. You guys want a real challenge? As a soldier in the United States Army, you'll find out what you're really made of and how far you can go. Explore over 150 careers, help pay for college, and learn if you qualify for an enlistment bonus. Call 1-888-395-ARMY now for a free copy of the America's Army game and this new interactive DVD. Hear what it's like to be a soldier from real soldiers. You ready to take this to the next level? Call now to find out how you too can become Army strong. Thank you, ladies. In other news, every Tuesday inside the Salvation's Army Recreate Cafe in Chattanooga, you'll find artist Kevin Dowdy painting. He says it gives just about every one of his paintings away for free because they make people smile. Don't let your disability stop you from doing anything, said Dowdy. Severe cataracts left him blind at the age of 15 in early 2000. He has had no sight since, but yet still paints through filling out the canvas by brushstroke. This really goes to show how nothing can stop you from what you really want to do. Well, that's all the news we have here for today. I'm Reed O'Neill with CBTV News and 9, signing off.